late in the clock. Shot clock is down to 15. Kuhlman against Anderson, right. and there's the foul. Yep. So you're talking about 20 plus seconds that come off the clock. And, and the foul history, a 14 seed, has knocked off a three seed. See, I, and I'm big on playing the clock, right, and stopping the clock, but you have to look at the situation right there with that shot clock that low. You have to trade the time in for the foul at that particular point. You just can't bump somebody that far away. J.P. Kuhlman, 72% shooter. The lead is six. One out of two, rebounded by Lockett. Just over a minute to play. Don't need the three right now. You need something going to the basket, especially if you don't shoot it real well. Wilson will take the three and makes the three. Jamil Wilson from long range. You take a look at this. I think you just want to play this aggressively. The downside is that you're against a team that, that executes very well and shoots free throws. So if you don't get a stop here, you're really in trouble. But they're electing to go. It looks like to play it straight up. And that's his choice, and he's got to live with it right now from the defensive end of the floor. 44 seconds to play, 19 to shoot. The roll to the rim! DeMond Brooks with the finish! Eventually they were going to get a backdoor cut to the basket with the pressure from Marquette. 56-51 Davidson, we're down to 33 seconds left. Kadugan has to make it happen quickly. Blue a pump, a fend-off, a three, got it! Oh. Vander Blue has cut it to two! Now the exercise is you have to go for your quick double teams, but who do you foul? They know they can spread the floor, but you better make a quicker decision than this. They're losing valuable seconds Absolutely. here. Absolutely. 20.2 on the clock and a foul given to the wrong man. It's Nick Cochran who shoots it at 94%. Oh, you with this guy, look at those numbers at 94%. The lead is three. 20.2 left on the clock. Jake Thomas is going to check in. He will take Lockett's spot on the floor. Three-point game. Second free throw coming for Nick Cochran. Over 1,000 career points at Davidson. The senior from Vancouver, British Columbia. Hits a pair. Four-point lead for Davidson. Bob McKillop with a timeouts right now, I but I agree with his decision right here. Force Marquette to act without a timeout and the benefit of it. Four-point game. We're down to 14 seconds left. Kadugan gives it up. Wilson fires the three. Oh. Yes! Jamil Wilson! It's a one-point game. Same exercise. Go for the quick foul. You can't waste the time. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Trying to save oh. it. It's out of bounds. Marquette's going to get it back with five and a half seconds. Okay, they at 6.7. Seems like the right call to me in terms of the clock and timing situation. Good work. That, by, you want to take as much time as you can as an officiating crew to get that one right. Uh, I guess buckle up, my friend. Here we go, huh? You see, and Marquette has options right now. They get into the right hands going towards the basket. Only down the point. Here we go. Yep. Five seconds left. Marquette down by one. Trying to avoid the upset. Blew the drive. The left hand. It's good. One second to play. Vander Blue has put Marquette in front by one. Timeout, Davidson. For Marquette to take the lead. So you have Wilson defensively. It looks like he's going to be guarding the ball. And he may not be the tallest guy, but he's got some nice wingspan. And then you have Cohen, who my guess is has a pretty good throwing arm or he wouldn't be out of bounds right now. Davidson looking for the miracle. Down by one. Cohen the toss. It's intercepted. And it's over. Marquette with the rally. The Golden Eagles advance.